But on Instagram, I saw this thing where a guy put up, my wife and I have started communicating and asking a question when one of us is having a bad time. And it's just, do you want comfort or solutions right now? And it blew my mind because what a simple question that's applicable to a relationship or friends, a friendship. And just when somebody comes to you or if you're having a bad day and somebody's like, what's wrong? And you tell them and then they say to you, okay, do you want me to respond to com with comforting you? You want me to help you find a solution? That would solve all my communication issues. If somebody just asked me that. I love that, especially, well, in a relationship, it would be phenomenal. But with friends, so many times I just want to just, there's nothing worse than when you're talking to a friend and you just want to lay it all out their vent and they're trying to give you feedback and you're like, can you please stop talking? This is my time. I just want to vent. But then there's also times where it's opposite and you want advice and your friend's just sitting there and you're like, are you going to gonna help me out here? Right. You're like, oh, I would like solutions, please. This yeah. is one of those problems where I need you to help me get to the other side. Yes. Or like, I'm just, you know what? Let me cash in my bitch phone call. Yeah. Because we're all human. There's the fine line of she always calls me to bitch and you need to be like, cut out the negativity. Mm -hmm. There's that line, which we don't even need to go there. But sometimes you're like, can I just riff? Yeah. Like when I was going through that whole like heartbreak episode I wanted a solution from you and you gave me it and you were so great about it but then like if I'm just having a bad day I just want comfort just be like god that would be so annoying yeah yeah and it and sometimes when I'm so having a bad time I love that he worded it that way just having a bad time and Graham will be like what's wrong and then I'll tell him and he'll start to respond if I just told him the problem and then I said and from you I want you to hit me with solutions you're like shh that would be incredible. That would actually be amazing because there's nothing worse when you just want to vent and they try to give you solutions and you're like, no, no, no. And it's like, but they don't know what you want. So if we could just supply them with the answer, yeah. they would know. This other guy, I want to read you these other ones because there was a whole... I'm going to start using that on a regular basis. Even like talking to a new person, maybe that you don't know that well, it's a great thing to say because sometimes that can turn people off when you are the person who tries to give them advice and you're like, you're like I'm just trying to vent, bro. <laughs> and I didn't even think about it in terms of friends. Yeah. Until somebody, I posted on my story and this girl was like, oh, I use it with my friends all the time. And I'm like, that's actually where I would like it more. Yeah. Because with your like significant other, you're, you're, I'll be like, I, I don't want that from you right now. But with a friend, you're like, <laughs> yeah, you're okay. not like, shut I need, up, bitch. I need to take that advice for sure. Yeah. yeah you're like, I just, try to be way too diplomatic, I think. And, you know what I mean? Someone vents to me about something. I'm like, well, she probably is feeling this way, blah, blah, blah. And mm. I feel like, you know, because I don't want people to, like, fight. Yeah. Yes. But you're so right. Sometimes you, you do want a bitch. Yeah. But tell, you know? I guess we should tell them that. Yeah. Like, like hey, do you want a bitch or do you want to, like, get through this problem with, your, with whatever you're yeah. going through? You yeah. Know? So this guy said, okay, so he tweeted it back and it did well. And it was like, would you like opinions? from me or you just want me to listen it's a good one love that how can i best support you right now that's good like if you don't know which two options to give them is this the same man no it's it was it's on upworthy and they did like a carousel people like responding to it oh um do you do you want to brainstorm or you want me just to sit here i like that one i i love that cute, <laughs> cute. also not being able to be afraid to ask for a pause to cool off and come back in any scenario yeah. that's good i had to do that with graham the other day i was like we got to pause let's revisit it that's just like very mature ways to, of communicating fully. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that could help. A, like that's just going to change my life with friends now. Yeah. Especially because like since I, I go to therapy, like when I do complain to my friends, I usually just want to vent because I'm like, I'll, if I actually want a solution, I'll just pay. I'll, oh. I'll ask first I'm paying. That's uh, a good point. Yeah. It's like it's, I'm paying for solutions. Yeah. So right. I You're here to bitch. Uh, but like usually when I do want people like for you, with that heartbreak guy was like Alex I need your solution because you went through it yes or and I and I also like the other one too of saying do you want an opinion maybe mm -hmm. not a solution but just my opinion and you can take it or leave it but I will give you mine yeah and almost to preface it by saying I might not take what you say I just I want your honest thoughts don't be offended if I take it or leave it I just want to mm -hmm. know or like my, one of my friends kind of gives me like do you want the hard love or the soft love approach like do you want me to tell you what's really up or do you want me just to give you the soft love and let you just slide by yeah and Cute. then we would feel yeah. so much less like we I think it helps too because you know there's nothing worse when you give so much advice and then they don't take it it's like I wouldn't have bothered 
really trying to type out that text if you didn't want it. So if they just lay it out up front, you'd be like, oh, I'll just let it fly then. I love that. I think that will really change the way people communicate in romantic relationships, friendships, even with their parents. Like, I think it will help all around. Yes, I agree. Parents is a good one. Mm Mm-hmm. I like it. 